Although Christmas has come to an end, the holiday season is still living on. Now we're on to New Year's Eve, and whenever I hear those words, I think of cobalt blue, tons of glitter, and over-the-top dramatic makeup. So due to all those reasons, this is the makeup tutorial I came up with for you guys. We're under pressure. Seven billion people in the world trying to fit in. Keep it together. Smile on your face even though your heart is frowning. But hey now, you know girl, we both know. You definitely want to begin with an eye primer. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And this will just make sure that the eyeshadow will stay on all night long considering that you're going to be staying up until midnight. We could be starving, we could be homeless, we could be broke. Now we're going to go in with a black gel eyeliner and a very small, precise eyeliner brush. With the black eyeliner, what we're going to do is create the effect of a higher crease. And to do so, all you need to do is find your natural crease and then draw a half circle right above where you want your crease to be. This will look that when your eyelid is open, there will be more lid space than there actually is. With a very precise tapered crease brush from Sigma, this is the E45. I'm just blending out that crease very lightly, but I still want it to be very defined. You can be my destiny's child, I'm a single. Now moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm beginning with a cobalt blue color by NYX, and this is in the color electric blue. And I'm beginning by putting this onto my lash line, and then with a smaller brush, I'm just blending this up. And you don't have to go all the way up to the new crease that we formed, because we're going to be filling that in with shadow anyway, but just make sure that this is evenly coated throughout your lid. Now with the BH Cosmetics Shimmer Palette and this deep navy cobalt blue color, I am going in and packing this onto the lid and making sure to work it all the way up to the new crease that we formed. Taking a pearlescent color and on the other side of that flat shader brush, I'm applying this to the center of my lid to give my eye a rounded effect. As long as you love. As for the highlight, I'm taking a pearl pink color and applying this right underneath my eyebrow on my brow bone. These next two steps are totally optional, but I'm going to be taking a liquid crystal eyeliner by NYX and applying this onto my lid. And to set it, I'm then just going to be taking the NYX Sparkling Glitter Powder and then with my finger, I'm just going to pat this right over top. Now we're going to move into lining the eye. So first off, I'm going to make a thicker line on the outer corner of my upper lash line and then connect it to the inner corner. And I want this to be thicker on the outer corner so that it makes my eye look bigger. Then I'm also going to be rimming my waterline and adding a cat eye to the very end of my eyeliner and I was out of frame for that, sorry. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This step is optional too, but now I'm just going to take a silver glitter eyeliner and outline the upper lash line that we used with the black going a little bit above that one so that we aren't overlapping it too much. So going around the edge of this cat eye and also down below onto the lower lash line about halfway. Go ahead and curl your eyelashes to make them look more awake and open. And then go in with your favorite mascara. This is Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. And if you want a more in-depth, detailed review of how I apply my mascara, my routine will be linked down below. For the face, I really want popping bone structure, so I'm going to be taking a matte bronzer and then the Sigma F35, which is a tapered highlighting brush. And then with this bronzer, I'm applying it onto the hollows of my cheekbones and then up the side of my temples and a little bit onto my nose just to contour that. Now I'm taking a blush and this is by NYX in the color Natural. I'm applying this to my cheeks and then blending it back to my temples. And to highlight any of my facial features, what I'm doing is taking the MAC Cream Color Base in the color Pearl and applying this on my cheekbones and also on the bridge of my nose. Never say never. 
For lips, I wanted soft yet noticeable, so I'm taking the Revlon Lipstick in Baby Pink. And then I'm going to pair it with a light pink lip gloss that has some color to it. And this is by Too Faced, but it does not have a specific color on it. And to make my lips look a lot more full, I'm going to be applying a clear lip gloss to the center of my lips. You can also use any sparkly lip gloss or just a lighter lip gloss in general. So that is the finished makeup tutorial. Hope you guys all have an amazing New Year's Eve. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye! Ever, ever, ever.